Hi, this is Dane Golden for Petaluma360.com and the Petaluma Argus Courier. We're here at the Petaluma Municipal Airport where we'll interview Stuart Munson of the Prop Stops here. Stuart's developed a, um, a modification of some uh, what's called a Google Mashup uh, in some circles, which combines use of Google Maps and Google Earth. It gives a visual almost like a video game uh, for pilots for training purposes and is updated in real time, which enables people to see what's going on from a pilot's perspective in 3D and also understand from an air traffic control perspective. Hello, my name is Stuart Munson. I'm the owner of the Prop Stops here and developer of a software called Aviatrium. It's a three-dimensional representation of airspace over San Francisco, Oakland, and the Bay Area, and helps pilots to visualize their flight plans. Uh, you'll see software which depicts the controlled airspace inside which jet aircraft as well as slow flying aircraft uh, make their approaches to land and take off. Uh, these forms are transparent and translucent. You can see through them to see other aircraft or to see other navigational aids and landmarks on the ground. So now we're over the uh, Petaluma turning base and they're looking at the Petaluma airport. And ascending up from downtown Petaluma, you can see the pattern where pilots fly downwind base and final to land at the Petaluma Municipal Airport. Now looking south, you see the Mode C Vale, and that's Class B airspace over San Francisco International Airport. And now you can see how tall these airspaces are relative to the surrounding hills. Now we're going south to Mount Burdell and we'll fly right over the top of Mount Burdell. This is going south on Highway 101. And flying over Mount Burdell. That's pretty close. That's okay, we have room. <laughs> And now this is the Mode C Vale. Inside this perimeter, you have to communicate with air traffic control. And, and what this, uh, these dimensions in combination with Google Earth have created is a way for pilots who will be flying to an airport to see what it looks like and the size of the airspace in 3D before they get there. Exactly. These volumes of airspace are now defined visually. Mm -hmm to work with the instruments in the aircraft to give the pilot situational awareness which we've never been able to accomplish quite so well. That's Class B and C airspace over San Francisco. Now we're flying down to Woodside and there are tours that you can take through this restricted airspace to fly visual flight rules. These corridors are clear if you ask for clearance from air traffic control.